Have you ever wondered how it would feel to step inside a Caravaggio painting? Well, a palace in Italy is giving you the chance. It's using a room filled with screens, projectors, music and even scents to allow audiences to enter the work of this revolutionary artist. <laughs> The doors of Caravaggio's world have been thrown open in Italy. An exhibition called the Caravaggio Experience isn't showing a single painting by the Baroque master. Instead, it breaks down his artwork and invites the viewer to step inside it. The show surrounds visitors with images from Caravaggio's paintings and lets them use all their senses to explore them. It's not possible to gather all of Caravaggio's works in one place because they're dispersed across the world. Some are in churches, others in museums, or belong to private collections. It's impossible to gather them all. So to show a passionate audience the entire production of his master, we opted for the solution of virtuality. In the first part of the exhibition, visitors can play and interact with the items found in Caravaggio paintings. For instance, they can roll dice or touch the cold-blooded attacker in the boy bitten by a lizard painting. Moreover, they can even put themselves into his painting of Medusa. It allows you to go inside the paintings, and that makes a difference. You're no longer just a spectator, but you're part of the artist's work. In the second part of the show, visitors enter a theatre that surrounds them in images from Caravaggio's work. Music plays and smells are piped in so that the visitors can do more than just to see his paintings. They can experience the drama. The Caravaggio experience is created in such a way that visitors perceive what the artist wanted to say without anyone explaining it to them. Caravaggio didn't leave even one sentence of explanation of his works. Caravaggio experience tries to give an explanation, but a visual one. That way, it remains in the artist's language without claiming to explain who knows what, but it tries to explain the essence of his work. The exhibit is being held at La Venaria Reale near Turin. It will be illuminating the 17th century artist best known for his use of light and shadow until October. Music